welcome to India Top Doctor. Today we are here to break down some common myths about infertility. And for that, I would like to invite Dr. Ashish Kale from Ashikaran Hospital in Pune, popularly known for its incomparable services. So let's welcome him. Welcome to India Top Doctor. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me here. It is our pleasure, sir. So before we move ahead, can you tell our audience something about yourself? Yeah, myself is Dr. Ashish Kare uh, from Pune. I, I do uh, IVF uh, infertility cases. I am a specialist into IVF and endoscopy. That is a gynec endoscopy. We, I am a director of Asha Kiran Hospital and Asha IVF centers across the globe. We are having the centers in Dubai, uh, Congo, as well as Indonesia. Uh, to my credit, I have the first uh, baby of Arunachal by IVF technology. And uh, I am presently a leading of organization of uh, Pune OBGY Society. I'm a secretary of it. I'm, I hold uh, the position of executive member of a national uh, body of uh, ESAR, that is the Indian Association of Reproductive Sciences. I'm also executive member of uh, IAG, that is the uh, Indian Association of Gynec Endoscopies. Yeah. Congratulations on all the successes you have achieved till now, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. As you know, today we'll be breaking down a few myths regarding infertility. But before we do that, can you tell us what is infertility? Uh, basically, when uh, uh, the, if you talk about the layman uh, man language, if the patient is having a regular sexual activity and unable to conceive in a period of one year, it's called as a, a infertility. But it depends upon the age also. If she is going to get married at the uh, at the later age, suppose she is at 38 and 39, and in a six months uh, they are planning for a baby and not having the baby in older age for a six months gap also, you term is as a infertility patients. And there are some myths regarding infertility. Number one is infertility is typically women's fault. Is it true? Yeah. I, I never believe because when you're talking about infertility, it's a couple problem. It is nothing to do with the male and female. And now we are uh, in the era where the equality matters. So if it is a it is a problem of a couple, it is addressed to the couple. So it's never been uh, like a, it is a female problem. It is a problem related to the male also, as well as the female also. Also, using birth control can cause infertility. Is that true, sir? Uh, I, if you ask me very precisely, uh, oral contraceptive pills in which age group and in whom you are giving, that makes a, makes a point of interest. If she's on uh, adolescent age group, suppose she's uh, 18, 19, or 20 years girl and started using uh, oral contraceptive period, uh, tablets for regularization of the periods for that matter, it doesn't affect at all the fertility outcome or her potential to become a mother. But on the other hand, if she uh, indulges into unsafe sexual activity and going for the uh, abortion pills or maybe for that uh, emergency contraception, that may hinder in her endocrinological balance and will have a little bit impact on the fertility issues. But not uh, like uh, OC pills use will cause infertility. It's not like that. Not also the duration of it. Okay, sir. The next myth I think is rather more gives a feeling of patriarchy. That is that if a man can ejaculate, he is not infertile. Is that true? Uh, the man ejaculate, it doesn't mean that particular ejaculate is going to have the sperm in it. Because every man in a, in an age group of a different age group is going to get ejaculations. And the ejaculation is coming out of the semen sample outside the body. That's what we know. But in that particular ejaculate, you need to have the sperms. And not only the count matters, there is a morphology that also counts when you're talking about infertility. Uh, when you're talking about an ejaculations, that uh, there is no ejaculate at all, then it's the cause of infertility. And the erections problems in a male definitely is a problem because if, uh, if there is a erectile dysfunction, he is not able to do a proper sexual activity. And that is the cause of infertility. Yes. That will relate it to the different uh, uh, group of the patients. All right, sir. And would you say that infertility cannot happen in young men or women? 
young uh, uh, nowadays uh, if you observe amongst youngsters there are the two problems that's uh, mentioned into our society for that matter in the world is uh, is obesity and secondly is our working style uh, my majority of the work has been done in the night where the usually the people is uh, going to have the sound sleep but if you are in a working style is in the in the night and then you are sleeping in the day it will cause a disturbance in your hormonal system and that will going to have the infertility problem and secondly i seen the age of 23 also the ovarian reserve that is called as the how much eggs are there in your ovaries that will decides your deciding factors so age is a number but when you talking about the age in relation 